All the different authors coming here to speak and do book signings has uh, been integral in, in coming back to bookstores and uh, looking at it, uh, getting back interested in, in books uh, instead of spending all the time on the computer. You come to an actual place, you meet other people, it's a great place to socialize. Uh, I, I've gotten some of the best books uh, that actually inspired and changed my life right here at this store. Yeah, book review has been great. We saw Patty Smith here many years ago, and so it's kind of fitting that we're here to see Richard Hell as well. Well, Richard Hell, the author that's coming tonight, he is probably one of the premier punk uh, musicians from the late 70 year old 80 time period. Where Richard was just using safety pins to hold his clothes together, and, and how, that, how that blew McCarran's mind, and he brought that over to England with him. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. But the, but the, the wildness of it, that you could just, just open yourself up and you could just, you could just be your own self and just expose it all. Uh, he was uh, in the era when uh, punk rock came of age and when it was uh, basically invented, and it's very interesting to see that he now is uh, an author and wrote this book. I know he's written other books, but this one seems very interesting in his autobiography. I'm very uh, excited and uh, enthused about reading it. I'm here to see Richard Hell because I've always been a fan, and uh, ever since I read uh, Please Kill Me, I always thought he was the man, and uh, his work meant a lot to me. Uh, uh, my generation was a personal favorite, big fan of television and Heartbreakers, and know how influential he was, and uh, I never thought I'd actually get a chance to actually see him in the flesh. So I'm looking forward to seeing him. The question I'm asked most often about uh, the book uh, and, and the interviews I've done, you know, I'm always asked first, why did you write this book now? In other words, why am I writing an autobiography? But frankly, I, I didn't even think of the book as an autobiography. The fact that it was an autobiography was kind of incidental. It was time to write a new book after I'd finished my last novel, and I'm not very good at writing thoughts, and my life, had, I, uh, the way I imagined it, had a pre-existing plot, though, you know, even that is not so simple. Being a quasi-public figure uh, for, you know, half the length of the time I'm covering the book, cover, covering in the book, there were plenty of interviews over the years and the odd stories about my misadventures and I kept journals as well and my <laughs> mother was a fanatic for never throwing anything away so it, it was just a sort of conjunction of factors that led to the autobiography being the, the pretext for writing another book.